Okay, this is a, a sort of uh, add-on video to the uh, in-painting one. This is difficult in-painting. So what we're going to do is uh, put an elephant in a room. Quite a traditional thing to do, isn't it? So first of all, we need to make our room. And obviously, we need a room that uh, has room for an elephant. Whoops, it's like we've got a, got a room with a coffee table in the middle. We can't have that. Uh, let's try another seat. So what you'll ne you need a you need a room with uh, with a plausible space for an elephant. Sans coffee table. Oh, this one's not too bad. It's got a small coffee table, but uh, maybe we can get rid of that. There we go. Lovely. Look at that. Nice room. Plenty of room for an elephant. Okay. So the next thing we do is you can't in paint something where there isn't anything. So you've got to make something that might be an elephant. It doesn't have to be terribly good. It only has to be slightly plausible as an elephant. So we do that in this one here. And what this does, quickly run this. This makes a shape here. And as you see, it's, um, we get it down saturation. It's made a, a pixelated version of our room. And what we want to do is to take an elephant shaped bit of that and drop it on there. Just enough to give the, uh, Poor old sampler, a bit of a clue as to, as to what, what stupid thing we're asking for. And you can adjust the colour of this. So if I take the saturation right down, the elephant's pretty grey. Uh, that's probably okay. It, it can be quite dark. So the next move, we use Preview Bridge here to um, paint an elephant, space, elephant shape. As you may know from other videos, I'm not a fan of Preview Bridge. Do a quick elephant shape. They're sort of a blob with legs, aren't they? Oop. They've got fat front legs there. Okay. I want that leg over there a bit. A bit like that. I think we need a trunk. And they have the ear comes out there, doesn't it? Okay, that'll do for an elephant shape. Okay, right. So we save that to the note. And then the next section, all and then you you just press uh, Q that, and lo and behold, we have an elephant shape in the room. Now the next bit's the tricky bit, because it doesn't always work. <laughs> so we might have a few go through a few seeds here. So now we're running at, at quite a high denoise, but we click through seeds because even though you know we'll very likely get a sort of pixelated version and no elephant, but a good elephant can be in the next seed. Flux is just like that. It It'll, it'll produce, you know, a quite a different image from seed to seed. So we'll cross everything we own, including fingers, and see what happens here. There you go, an elephant. Now that denoise is high enough to change the room. So what we need is uh, an elephant that, um, well, for a start, we need an elephant without quite that number of legs. So we have to click through seeds until we find a, 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 an elephant we like. That is room worthy. Oh, I think that will do. That's quite a nice elephant. And we need to uh, we need to paint over him in mask editor. Okay, and we save that to the node, and then we run that. And there's our elephant on our rug. And then we run a refine, which is a fairly low denoise. And there we have our elephant in the room. We've even got shadows. So. Uh, I hope that was uh, interesting and it's really an add-on to the previous one. I should put this workflow in, but uh, it, it's quite a straightforward workflow. Um, if you, it's really important, this uh, this room is a slightly refined room, because uh, I, I, I don't see why I shouldn't take the refined process at the end, rather. But if it was really important that this room here was exactly the same, then uh, you could put another preview node and uh, carefully mask the elephant in because there were, is very few differences around the edge. You won't need to be massively careful, especially if you use the grow mask with blur here to uh, refine the edge. But you'll, you'll see that here I'm using a little bit of um, blur 9 and I'm expanding my 5 but we get a pretty clean edge with, with everything being consistent, really. A bit of shine on the elephant's eyes, isn't that nice? Okay, so I hope that's obvious. Thank you for your attention.